Hello, I'm Igor and welcome back to my tech farm. I have two filaments for testing in this video and these are regular PLA and PLA Strongman and they are sent to me by Azurfilm in exchange for a review. Uh, this regular PLA is opened already because it was included in the 60 PLA brand comparison video and the PLA Strongman is brand new. Now I noticed that a lot of brands have this some kind of PLA plus or something like that. Uh, there is no strict definition what that plus means. Sometimes it means a little bit more uh, heat uh, resistance like with game build filament. Uh, in this case, according to their website, the PLA Strongman is uh, tougher and uh, impact resistance material compared to the regular PLA, but they have the same temperature resistance C, which is approximately 50-55 degrees Celsius, but this will be tested too. Now, uh, according to my experience, I, uh, that's not new, uh, and I noticed that in that case, very often we have a little bit weaker tensile strength and the layer tension. Uh, that will be also uh, tested in this video, of course, using those regular test objects. And uh, my Patreon supporters have access to that uh, Excel table where they can compare uh, every filament tested in this channel. But uh, all other users basically can download the Excel table, uh, which includes only these two filaments. Let's open this strong and fill it. It has nice transparent spool like the regular PLA and it is nicely packed in this vacuum packaging. And uh, I can see some basic information on this sticker. Printing temperature between 195 and 215 degrees Celsius, which is a little bit confusing because on their website they said between 200 and 230 degrees Celsius. Well, I print the temperature towers between uh, 230 and 200 degrees Celsius. I'm not going down to 190, but also properly all test objects will be printed on 215 degrees Celsius. This is the bridging on the second element and everything looks fine so far. Printing will be finished soon. This is the last element. Basically no surprises here, this is another perfect temperature tower, but I already printed it earlier, but on different printer, so uh, great overhang on any temperature, perfect bridging, no stringing. And again I will print test objects all at once, and this is now the second layer, everything is perfect so far, and I'm printing everything on 215 degrees Celsius. Printing is at 60%. Last two elements for the layer adhesion test. It's a good start, great first layer. This is the second element of 220 degrees Celsius and it looks perfect so far. And this is another great temperature tower. Perfect bridging, overhangs. <laughs> only one string I could see on 230 degrees Celsius and that's the only difference compared to the regular PLA. But basically both are very perfect. That's the first layer. I'm printing all test objects at once using the same G-code. Temperature is 215 on the nozzle and 60 on the bed. And of course maximum part cooling. The last two objects. The printability of both filaments is great and now they are ready for the mechanical testing. I'm starting with tensile test. These two objects are printed in horizontal position. Now the strongman. They broke correctly on the smallest cross section area. This means probably everything is okay with the layer adhesion, but let's find out that. And now the layer adhesion test. Strongman PLA. Well, you already saw the numbers, but for the filling, the regular PLA was better. But both have very strong layer adhesion. And now, three point bending test where I am placing different load on the test objects and I measure the deformations. And uh, the load is always just added, so this is 1.25 kilograms, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5, 7.5, 8.5, 9.5, 10.5, 11.5, 12.5, 13.5, 14.5, 15.5, 16.5, 17.5, 
5 kilograms and this is the 10 kilograms and I always measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds and at the end I'm removing the load but in this video I will show you only the deformations after 30 seconds but of course all deformations you can see in the results part and I'm starting with regular PLA 1 minute and now removing all the load and this is PLA Strongman one minute removing all the load well after this test I cannot see any permanent deformation on these test objects Another shell stress and this object is a 5mm in diameter. Now the strongman. The shell was successful on those two cross section areas. And now torque or twist test and I want to record the load at 90 degree angle and the maximum load. The diameter of this test object is uh, 6 millimeters. The strong but not so strong like the PLA in this test but I could make uh, more rotation. This means it is less brittle material. Well, I have these notch test objects and now let's see how brittle or tough are these materials and I believe that here should be a different advantage of this strong MPLA. PLA, zero position, PLA strongman. Well, even without analyzing the footage, I can tell that PLA Strongman is much better in this impact test and it didn't even broke completely. The PLA is very brittle material, but let's see those numbers. The zero position of the hammer. This is after breaking the regular PLA. And this is after breaking the PLA Strongman. I have to measure age from the zero position and it will be used in this calculation to get the breaking energy. The temperature test with the M10 nut is a small load and the proper PLA will start to deform at approximately 50 degrees Celsius but I'm curious which one will start to deform first. This is 25 times speed up video and you will see soon both materials start to deform on the same temperature and it's 48 degrees Celsius in this case. And this is typical for average PLA. I can stop the experiment. For the feeling almost equal soft. The strong is a little bit softer for the feeling compared to the regular PLA. Well they cool down now, very similar deformation with the same dimensions and basically like a regular PLA so don't forget if you have some objects for any of these don't leave it inside your car on hot summer day. And now a regular creep test to see the deformation under the constant load. And now I will place this 1.25 kg load on these test objects. Now I will measure the distance between these two reference surfaces. And for more accurate measuring I am locking their position. 15.16 15.53 After one day very minimal creeping on the regular PLA and more than one millimeter of deformation on PLA Strongman. Day 2 already measured them, still approximately half millimeters of creeping here and maybe 0 0.3 here, but nothing visually interesting, so I let's jump in the time. And this is fifth day. I measured them every day and now I place them in the oven to 40, 45 degrees Celsius for one hour and now I will measure them again and that will be end of this creep test. I will stop the experiment after 20 minutes because the Strongman will fall down soon. And this is how they look like after only 20 minutes on approximately 45 degrees Celsius. 
and let's analyze the results in this Excel table, which is undoubtable from mytechfund.com website. Let's start with the creep test. So these numbers are uh, raw data distance between these two reference surfaces. But what we need is actually the difference between two days. And that's why I prepared this table. And this is visible on this graph. Now, uh, it is better if I disable uh, this is uh, after the heating because it deforms a lot this graph. And this is more visible. And here you can see after second day, it, it almost stabilized, but only almost. So basically, if it is not zero, this means we have the creeping even of the, on the fifth day. And of course, a uh, smaller value is always better. So PLA was better in this test. And this is the tensile and the layer adhesion test. And uh, this is OK. So everything around 100 kilograms is OK for PLA. This is actually very strong. But this was very impressive. So <laughs> I don't think I had uh, over 80 kilogram break load on the layer adhesion test. So I have to check maybe the flow rate or something like that. But this is very impressive because this is also great value. So everything above, above 20, 30 kilograms is uh, fine for in this test. The shear stress, uh, these are average good results for PLA. Of course, the regular PLA was uh, again better in this test. And now that uh, new bending test. So what you saw in the video is only the deformation on these loads after 30 seconds. But what is not visible in the video, but of course I measure that, is this. So for example, the, these numbers are the deformation when I place 2.5 kilogram load after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And uh, this is the deformation. So if we see uh, equal or near equal values, so this is very horizontal, that's good. Take a look at my previous video where I measure nylon and where there we have creeping. So these surfaces are under this some kind of angle on the higher loads. And of course, here again, the regular PL was better. So smaller values are better, less deformation. And this is the torque test uh, where I measured the load at 90 degree angle and the maximal load. And again, the PL was better, but you saw I could do more rotation. Ah, this is inaccurate, maybe even two turns with a strong vent PLA until it didn't broke. Now, actually, here I'm planning to do a new torque test, uh, similar like with new bending test. Uh, instead of the rotating and measure the load on 90 degree and the maximal uh, load, I would like to place a constant, let's say one newton meter load on this test object and then measure its deformation, the rotation angle after one second, 30 seconds and 60 seconds. What is your opinion about that? So should I stay with this test as it is now? Or you would like to see that kind of test where I place some uh, known load on it and measure the deformation? And this is very important test because here we can see the advantage of the strongman PLA because uh, the regular PLA is brittle like any other brittle in material I tested, but this is very good value. So uh, here we can see the real difference between these two materials. And uh, the last one was the temperature test, very similar. So basically pay attention that PLA uh, may easily deform even on this uh, small temperature. So if you got your part inside your car or somewhere, it will be heated on the sun it will easily deform even without load on it. So what are the conclusions? Well, something I predicted, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that uh, I often see that manufacturers add something to the regular PLA to improve its uh, impact strength. But with this, they usually sacrifice some of mechanical properties. So that's why it is important to understand these materials and to choose the proper one for your application. So why do I recommend using a PLA strongman instead of the regular PLA? Well, you saw from the results uh, if you are expecting some dynamic load, for example, bumper for an RC car, or maybe the biggest danger for your object is that it will fall down and break. In that case, definitely the strongman is uh, better compared to the PLA. But in all other applications, uh, mechanical uh, loads, the regular PLA is better compared to the strongman. Any other experience with these materials, you know, a few lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!